Picture this. We, the Jelvix team, are in our high-tech layer, sipping our morning coffees and talking tech. The topic of the day? The groundbreaking effects of AI on the art world. Two names keep popping up in our chat, Midjourney and Leonardo AI, the game changers in generative imagery. We think, let's explore these and see who's got the edge. We're Jelvix, a software development partner for industry leaders. We post weekly videos on tech in five minutes. So don't forget to subscribe. Also, use the super thanks feature to support our channel so we can deliver more great content. Now let's get into it. What's Midjourney and what's Leonardo AI? Midjourney and Leonardo AI are AI-driven art generators. These tools transform plain text prompts into mesmerizing images and artworks. Midjourney runs entirely on the Discord chat app, making it accessible to anyone with a simple text-based question. Leonardo AI, although still under development, has been turning heads in the creative community with its intriguing features. So which platform generates better artwork? Okay, Jelvix designers decided to compare them. So here's how it went. We used identical prompts and asked both platforms to create a variety of artworks, from dramatic portraits of old Vikings to fantasy compositions of white tigers in knight's armor. The results were mind-blowing. Here's where we asked them to create a portrait of a beautiful woman. What are your thoughts on this? Which one's better? Write in the comments now. Now, in our opinion, Midjourney seemed to add a touch of natural character that was hard to beat, and it wins in this battle. Next, we thought, let's move on to something different. Our prompt was, white tiger wearing a shiny knight armor, unreal engine, dramatic lighting, castle background. It's interesting how each AI interpreted the prompt differently. Midjourney created an anthropomorphized white tiger, while Leonardo skipped the armor. However, both compositions were impressive in their own right. Okay, we like Midjourney's version more, to be honest. Our next competition, create a picture of objects and street. Here's what we were looking for for detail and lighting of the art. We used the prompt, old fashioned car on the street. Midjourney delivered a finely detailed car, whereas Leonardo AI swept us away with its soft lighting. We named Leonardo AI a winner here. However, you need to remember, art is subjective. Your preferences might differ from ours, and that's the beauty of art and AI. They both cater to the unique tastes and visions of each individual. Now, as we continue our exploration, we delve into the unique features that each platform offers. Midjourney impresses us with its conversational AI capabilities personalization, and detailed analytics. Leonardo AI, still a relative newcomer, surprises us with features like voice-to-text transcription, smart reminders, and team collaboration tools. Yet, the choice is not easy, and the debate rages on within the Jelvix team. We appreciate and respect what each platform brings to the table. So now, it's time to examine the more practical aspects user interface, and customization. Before we move on, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to like and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. User experience-wise, Midjourney is as easy as chatting on Discord. Leonardo AI is a bit more involved with its web-based application. But once you get the hang of it, you've got a broader tool set at your disposal. In terms of customizing your artwork, Leonardo AI offers more wiggle room. Midjourney, despite being a solid platform, falls short in the customization department. All said and done, if you're looking for something simple and efficient that produces quality images, Midjourney is your best bet. If you want a more robust tool with broader options, then give Leonardo AI a shot. We hope this little story of our exploration helps you pick the AI art generator that suits you best. Before you go, check out our video about AI art generators. You'll love it. Also, support us by liking this video and leaving a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button.
Bye for now.